Hey guys, I just started this build and I started um, putting some solder on the pads on this PDB and I decided that I really had to show you guys this because uh, it's kind of a unique product. There isn't a whole lot of demand for PDBs anymore because most guys are using 41 ESCs and the ones that are using individual ESCs sometimes use uh, or most of the time use NFC that also has an integrated PDB. But for what I wanted to do here, uh, this product is perfect. See, some of the PDBs from the past are very simple and they work just fine, but most of them miss uh, things like having a current uh, sensor here. And just about none of the old ones have 20 by 20 holes. As you can see here, this is the Matec FC Hub dash A and it has 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 holes. The other one we'll be looking at is the FC Hub dash A5, which is essentially the same thing, but it has a five volt, two amp regulator at the back. Okay, so the reason I got this is because I'm gonna put this flight one millivolt OSD in the center there on the 20 by 20 holes. And this is gonna be mounted on a frame on a hyper low RS that RS Plus actually that has uh, 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 holes. Most guys that fly Flight 1, they'll use a 4 in 1 ESC. And I do so as well on my racing rigs, but um, I still believe that most of the time individual ESCs simply fly cleaner because there's less noise. There's no noisy FETs right under the flight controller. I'll be using these uh, Slick 50 iFlight ESCs V2 that I got from Banggood. There will be there's a link in the description to these and also check because there's gonna if if not by now, there soon will be a full review on these. So check my channel. And the idea is to distribute power from the ESCs to this PDB and then feed the flight controller. Um, one thing to note though, and the one big reason I wanted to show you this is because if you go online and find this product, which is kind of hard to find to be honest, not a lot of dealers carry it. It seems like Matek at some point updated this uh, flight controller, I mean this uh, PDB, because the original version and most of the photos online are missing these pads. It just has kind of power and current and that's it. But there's no breakout pad for the signal wires which was gonna be a problem because if I'm gonna go into these plugs, I'd need some kind of breakout wires to go from the ESC to the signal pads and out from there to the FC. So if you're online looking for this, ask your dealer to check which one they have because their photo may be wrong. Because like I said, some of these don't have the pads, at least the earlier versions or the photos. And that's the reason I ordered this one too. I didn't really need a five volt regulator although at some point I, I know I'll probably use it but this one the photos were fine it had all the pads that I need so I figured you know what I'm just gonna order both just in case in case this one is missing what I need um, and happily it did have it now one important thing is it's flat at the bottom where the other one has the regulator at the bottom so if you do not need a regulator this one's the best way to go because you can put it just nearly completely flat on the frame and that's what i want to do because the hyper low rs plus is very low so i don't want to take a lot of room from it so that i can fit that like that this goes on top and then as you can see when i put the plate on there's actually plenty of room for it um it has a, a regulator with two different scales. If you're gonna use it for something small like I am, uh, 120 amps is fine. If you're gonna have a powerhouse build, you can bridge these two pads up here and you can make it a 200 amp current, I mean, uh, current sensor. And it depends on what you need. Then of course, the uh, this these are the breakout cables that go to the FC. Each of the ESCs are wired positive, negative signal. There's a VBAT and ground on this side and a VBAT ground and current on the other side. And of course, this goes like this on beta flies motor one, two, three, and four. That's pretty much it for this one. Then the other one just has essentially more or less the same layout with a couple extra things such as ESC telemetry which this one does not appear to have nope 
and um, and it also has the 5 volt regulator which is 2 amp which is pretty good on the bottom and it also has I believe it has a scale for the for the current sensor maybe not no this one's a simple one it's a 184 amp scale of 179 uh, last thing I want to point out is that because this is pretty much designed to carry a 20 by 20 FC on top very curiously it comes with these special sort of like bolts with a very small head and the cool thing about it is that you put them in there and it doesn't see they barely take any room so that way you can still have a very low profile when you mount your flight controller on top now I may not go this way because my frame has 20 by 20 holes so I might just shoot a screw right through it but for any of you guys that are wanting to mount a 20 by 20 on a PDB that is up for 30 by 30 holes and frames that only have 30 by 30 holes this will be a perfect option there you have it if you have any questions about these I'll be playing with them so I'll know more about them I can answer questions just comment below and let me know what do you want what do you want to know and I'll try to help as much as I can Please subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you get notifications of the video, of my videos, and thumbs up to this and share it for your friends because I know there's not a whole lot about these online right now.